What's one of the best things you can do to maintain your bike during the winter? Is connecting it to a trickle charger. And this is my new NOCO charger, as you probably saw in the previous video. And this is weird, because I'm shooting these back to back, so I haven't really gone anywhere, apart from I'm now precariously balanced on top of a XT350. But yes, like I said, I bought this charger to go for the, the bikes being stored at the back for now. Um, they are used, but also this to have a good charger anyway. Saw this, this is a two-in-one charger. Two two amp um, chargers in the same unit that split off, they're individually controlled, and you can, um, yeah, the, leave one connected, both connected, whatever. Um, so we're gonna open it together. I, this did have cellophane on, I must admit, and I've been a bit cheeky and taken that off already. So, um, yes, yeah, shall we get into it? Welcome to the pistol alignment workshop, by the way. If you're a subscriber, good to see you again. If you're not, hello, welcome. This is the pistol alignment workshop. Um, let's take this uh, cardboard sheath off this box. Ooh, that's posh. Isn't it? So this is bought off Amazon, to be honest. This is the NoCo Genius 2x2. There's two amp charger and there's two of them. So two by two. What do you get in the box? And this is well, this is what you get without dropping it. Little unit like that. These are the control panels at the front. Let's get it, get it out of the box. This generally comes with everything that you will need to, um, yeah, charge a battery. Any description, it will do anything. Not necessarily motorcycles, that's what I'm using it for. It does cars, it does, um, yeah, a wide range. So anything from 12 volt standard to 12 volt AGM to 12 volt lithium and even a standard 6 volt as well on both sides. So, what more do you need? Unless you're charging 24 on a truck, but I don't own a truck. Wouldn't fit in here for one. And this is the little gizmo here. It's not as big as I, I thought. And you can make your own jokes there. Um, so yeah, these are the, the split leads. You've got these connectors that just pop apart. He says. It's caps. Oh, it's clicked on the thing. Yeah, I'm going to put that bit down. Yep, see, there's your two pin plug and then you plug your whichever crocodile clips or, or eyelets onto that end. What else do you get in the box? get accessories so this will be the leads themselves for the crocodile clips there's two sets of those and that's your plug you plug it back on they're fused which is also good to know and also you get extension leads which is quite handy because I would like to mount this on my wall behind me and then run to the individual bikes, which obviously aren't going to be directly in front of it. So I don't know how long these are. We will find out. And then you get your cables, which is your power supply. A lot of cables. Oh, yeah, it's uh, international as well. You've got literally, it's a kit, so you can, you're American. European. Yep. And good old blighty. There we are, the three pin plug with probably five amp fuse. And a book of instructions, but we don't need them for now. I will say what I also purchased as a side side um separately I should say to this is uh these eyelet leads so the charger has these plugs and they're all universal through the range just double check that before you commit to buying stuff obviously but you get eyelet so the plan with this open the tape so very similar to your crocodile clip this is just an eyelet cable like so i'm gonna 
keep this permanently connected to the batteries on the, the Kawasaki's actually positive uh, and then this plug I'm going to feed this so the majority of this is hidden and just have that sticking out so then I can quite easily with the use of the extension plug come along pop the waterproof seal out pop that to there but that obviously runs off to the charger and charge my batteries without taking all the seat and and rear units off and the like so that's the uh that's it taken out of the box that's it there two mounting points here no fixings included by the looks of it so you have to find yourself a couple of screws or whatever surface you want to mount it to obviously you can just it's got anti-slip um pads on it so you can just leave it on the side it shouldn't shouldn't go anywhere it's not particularly heavy just make sure it's sturdy though because it's quite an expensive piece of kit and you don't want to drop it you don't want to damage this so i'm going to set this up i'll get, go over to the bikes and show you uh where we really um what i really mean so to you you have to bear with me with this one because i've got no proper equipment up here so i apologize for not having a microphone and no real stand so this is now in my hand obviously but i've uh just mounted the charger symbol. I must apologize instantly to Noco because there was fixings in there. There's two self-tapping screws. So I take it all back. Unless you want to go into like brickwork, obviously, then you'll need to drill and brawl plug and whatever. But yeah, for me, because I'm working against the wood, it's perfect. So we'll come over over the ramp. So this is where I've just mounted it. This against the wall. I've got my sockets over here in the corner. So I will tidy this lead up when I eventually like get there. But this for now to show you, so this is one ninja. And what I'm doing is I'm currently working on the, this one over here. So if I bring you in, you can see I've exposed the battery, so I've taken the seat cowl off and I've got the battery. And then this is my eyelet lead. I'm going to mount onto the battery and then I'm going to feed this plug round so then there'll be no more removing of the seat so then I can just go directly onto that plug, plug in the charger, flick it on at the wall using the extension lead that where I've mounted it I did pre-measure it, it's, um, it is going to be long enough so I'm just going to uh, swap those leads over, no, well not swap, they attach the leads on the bike, we'll run the extension lead up and then um, yeah, this one will be all uh, ready to charge. So we're all connected up now. I've um, done both bikes. So you look here. This is where my charging lead comes out under the seat. And if I can get the camera in the right position, this lead comes around and plugs in over here. And the same with this one. Got the extension lead running down the side of the bikes. Up and then same, the lead coming out of the... Um, under the seat there just because it's far easier popping the rear cowling off these and obviously you can root them so they stick out the side if you wish um they are uh have waterproof caps on so um be fine for the elements um but for me that's fine it's this especially with bolt on seats as well again access is pretty poor so i'm gonna flick on the power out of the socket and that immediately flashed to let me know that this was on so i know on these bikes that these are 12 volt agm batteries so i'm just gonna press the mode now so that's 12 volt long again 12 volt agm and this is only operating this first bank here and as you can see it's pretty low second bank far side again 12 volt standard again along to the AGM and again pretty low obviously excuse my hand there obviously as it registers the charge in the battery it may pick up these are percentage marks so there's 25 50 75 and 100 when it's still flashing on 100 it is still charging it will only be fully charged once that bar goes solid and it will be green but uh that's it these can literally stay like this now um until i wish to take them out like that i 
I can disconnect them once they're fully charged or I can leave, leave it on. Like the indefinite charging system, well, not indefinite charging, indefinitely left on and it acts as a float charger. So it will only kick in this charger when the voltage dips below a, level, a certain level. Also, good thing about this is they will not um, operate if the leads around the wrong way. So it will denote like the wrong current operation. So a short, essentially, you'll get a warning um, appear in the light system it may flash or stay on I can't really remember which one it is now but um, on this this bay and obviously um, you can um, just one run one of these the power will be going to it but all the while you don't have a battery lit up then it's not sending the current out the lead and also if it's not connected to anything it probably won't get very far either so I'm gonna let these simmer nicely now like so I can leave these if I'm happy to um, however long they need and require so that's our newest toy the newest workshop um, it's a bit bare currently but you can have a come over here and just look down on the, the bench of boxes and um, yes yeah, it's jolly good to see you. so please like and subscribe uh, hopefully we'll be picking up again um, but this has been the main focus recently so getting this place done and um, yeah, now winter's coming, we'll have more time for another project. A lot wanting to do next year.